All right, so um, so Balinas is playing with white. Yes. Okay. E4, E5. Either. This was a, already a small surprise for for my opponent because usually I played and I play until the last uh, time when I was uh, participating in the big tournaments. I was playing usually C5. I was play Sicilian usually. But here we we have a Spanish uh, opening, and after knight c6, bishop b5, a6 is the normal line, the main line of the Spanish defense. Knight f6, castle, b5, bishop e7, pardon, bishop e7, rook e1, b5, the main line, bishop b3, b3, b6, b3, castle, a6. So, so far the main line. No the main line. One of the main lines. There are two or three main lines. Here instead of a6, black can also play knight a5 or knight b8. Knight a5, knight b8 are the normal lines instead of h6. In order to develop c5 or yeah, to develop the pawn? Yeah, to play c5. Uh, mm -hmm. We played for instance like this. So knight uh, a5, bishop c2, c5, d4, queen c7 also the main line. Mm -hmm. I played uh, my game, my second game against Bobby Fischer in uh, 1968 uh, in Yugoslavia. And the game was very long and finally a draw, 18 moves, 18 uh, hours. Your second game with Bobby Fischer. Bobby Fischer, yes. And was you were like playing with, with black. With black also, yeah. Mm -hmm. And it was like this, with knight a5, the way I told you. And here, h6, d4, rook e8, knight b3, Knight bd2, bishop f8. This is the so-called Smyslov variation for black. Smyslov introduced this line for black. The b and bishop this, on f8. f8. I mean, this order of moves, you know, h6, rook e8, bishop f8. This is the Smyslov variation from Spanish. Knight f1, bishop d7, knight g3. All this is theory until now, you know. Bishop c2, c4. C5. Yeah, okay. B3. Okay. This is, is an important moment. If white plays instead of bishop b2, d5, the game is more or less even, you know. But after bishop b2, uh, black can prove that his idea is better than his opponent. I mean, he can destroy a little bit uh, the equality of the game by playing himself the move before. And uh, everything will be clearly in black's favor in the next moves, you will see. Now b4 is very strong move, b4. D takes c5. Now instead of taking immediately in c5, black takes himself in c3. Bishop takes c3, of course. And D takes C5. Why is now black a little bit better? Because he has the possibility to come very quickly with his knight on D4. The knight in D4 is ah, very and strong. And we'll have, a, we'll have a, either a strong knight or a, strong, or a, a, a pass pawn, right? Yeah, right. One and therefore, the... black is already a little bit mm. better here. So yeah. what should they have played the uh, white? Instead mm. of bishop B2, when he yes. played bishop yeah. B2, he had to push immediately D5 and close the game. I mean, close the position. Mm -hmm. If he plays d5, the game is more or less even. And then a uh, plan will be to attack on the king side for white, right? Somehow, you know, mm -hmm. so if you have the time, because black uh, can, uh, you know, open up the react position. a little bit, you know. No, open up, uh, he, <laughs> he can't do it because the game is already closed. closed. Yeah. yeah. And it was clearly better. Bishop b2 was already a small mistake from white. Mm -hmm. Okay. Knight d4, this position is already better for black, in every position. Because of this knight from d4, we'll see until the end, the knight will be there and giving black already always a better game. Knight d4, knight d3, bishop b5, okay. So starting to controlling a little... Uh, yeah, uh, black is, uh, you know, having a small advantage everywhere, but everything is... Uh, possible only because the knight is so strong on d4 because you have such a strong knight there black is having a very very good game in every position let me see knight c4 and now uh, you, yes 
you know, bishop takes c4, b takes c4. White has the two bishops, but it's not important. The important thing is that you have already, after a few moves, in Spanish you can have very few positions when you have such a good game for black already. You know, the knight from d4 gives all the good strategic uh, strategic positions for black. But why uh, he doesn't take it? With, uh, the well, he knight. can take it, but uh, anyway, if you take in d4, we have a pass pawn. Even if you take the C with C pawn, even if you take the E pawn, the position is better because already the black pawn is in D4, you know, the is protected, mm -hmm. and any game is better from you know from uh, black's point of view in ending. Any yeah. ending is better for black, mm -hmm. if not winning, you know, already. You know? We'll see. Bishop D6. Now the idea is very clear. We want later on to have the possibility to trade the black bishop on a5, you know, somehow to to have the time to to eliminate the, the bishop from c3. Look, bishop a4, rook e7. The idea is to come with his rook on the queen side later on. Knight b. Knight g7, uh, knight a7 also, very good uh, idea. We try to come with the, with the other knight on e6. You see, knight g5 or knight f8, and le later on to come to d6. Ah, to enforce to, the... To enforce, to have another knight, you know, there, you know, yeah. in this position. Yeah. This, this... And now the, the advantage from black is clear, you know, in this position. After this idea, knight f1, bishop c5, yeah, c7, you know, knight e3. And then we have the possibility to trade bishop, you know, from c3. Now everything is clear. We have our knight from b4 forever, you know. But why you trade the, the, the bishop? Because the black bishop from c3 is the best white play, uh, what uh, piece, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if we can have his possibility to, to trade the bishop, our advantage will be clear, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We have the white bishop from uh, a4. He doesn't play for the moment. He doesn't attack anything. Mm -hmm. And instead, we have our knight from d4, very strong, and giving in any position a very strong initiative for black. I mean, strategically, black is already, in my opinion, black is already winning in this position. You know? mm -hmm. Now we have to see how we'll, uh, we'll have the... Realize you know, this the, advantage. You know, how we can realize the advantage. Okay, takes, takes. Now, rook b8, we take the b, the b file, you know. Rook b7. But now he also is a knight there. Yeah, but the knight from d5, the, he doesn't do anything. I mean, he is a very nice position, but yeah. nothing else. You know? so. Now you see the advantage. The advantage clear. We have the b file, we have the, d, the knight from d4, we have the initiative, and we can dictate, you know, the terms of any, any end game or any uh, next uh, positions in the few moves that we have in, in our games, you know. White has a very defensive position. He can't do anything. He, he must only wait. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know. No initiative. Yeah. yeah. Now g5. We have our plan, a very clear plan, to come to e6 and later on, if possible, on f4. We'll see uh, in our game. He shall be c. So blocking the the file. He's trying to block the file, and you know. To, to see what happens later on. But it is very clear, you know, we come to e6 and later on we, tr we try to, you know, take away the, the, the knight from d5. Now, after queen g3, we have the possibility to trade also queens because our advantage is still there, even without queens. Even without queens, it will be enough to try to play for win. Queen g5. So the, the advantage is, uh, is clear and uh, then better now, to simplify. Yeah, it's better to simplify because we, you have a clear advantage and uh, your opponent has no counterplay at all, you know. Yeah. Takes, takes. Yeah. Rook is three. Now the four. Now you see the black pieces are everywhere, you know. Yeah. Yeah, the bish bishop looks like a big pawn. And, yeah, uh, yeah. <clears throat> Strategically, black has already decisive advantage here. 
Let's see. So he doesn't want to change the nine, maybe. Or... Well, if he takes in f4 after g takes f4, then then you see the difference between our knight from d4, which is fantastic there, and the bishop from b3. He has no moves. Finally, he's like a pawn. You know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now we agree to trade uh, the knight from d4 because we we can uh, control completely the b file and have uh, you, want a you pawn know also. all kinds. Yeah, I want a pawn, and uh, the king the king from f1 is weak, and we have you know attack uh, attacking chances against uh, the white kings, and that will uh, prove enough to win the game. Mm -hmm. We'll see. Mm -hmm. Takes takes takes. I actually you don't win a pawn because he they also take but uh, no of course but now for instance if white takes in a6 immediately he's already immediately lost because he's mate we take in c3 to rook takes c3 rook b1 mate you see immediately correct, yeah? correct. yes yeah so he has to kick the knight to, yeah to kick the knight now instead of moving away the knight uh, with probably a even game we take the the h3 pawn. And the attack continues. Yeah. Because now we have the control of the second line, you know, also. The F7, the, the... The F2 pawn is very weak F2. also. Yeah. yeah. Rook B2, you see the difference. Knight E2, the only good defense, Rook C2. Now we attack the pawn from C4, and we have the possibility to come with the other Rook on B1. And this is already too late, but it's completely lost here. Rook c6, check, king g2, and g4. So, blocking now, the king. No, now yeah. it's already finished, you know, because if you take, for instance, in c5, yeah, after rook b1, b2, we attack twice in, uh, in e2, and the pawn from f2, and that's his fear. Or rook e1 also wins immediately. F3 is uh, the last hope, but it's uh, much too late. And now it's completely lost again. Very nice. Rook G1 check. King H2, the only move. And now, Rook E1. And White resigned. White you want a piece here, right? You want the knight. At, at least. least. Yeah. Oh. Very good game, but of course, uh, let's say my opponent didn't really understand the idea, you know, the strategic idea for black. Mm -hmm. And in uh, uh, from this moment when Black could play uh, the move before, everything was in his favor, you know. And it was also the the the, from the good realization. Very small, uh, yeah, from very small things, moment. you know. Finally, the Black had the decisive advantage, and he could win very nice game. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Well, Thank the game was okay. Thank you, Mister Gurdjieff. You're welcome.